Cux of Christ, episode 12. What's up, babes? What's up? Baby girl. Baby uh, girl. <laughs> Won't you love how you love me? I wouldn't dream. How does the rest next part go? I don't know. Going nowhere. All right, yeah. All right, That's man. all you, boo-boo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh shit! <laughs> At least I'm not in a school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just stalling right now. That's all we're doing. Yeah, we're um, shaking and baking. Just, just for the listeners, the the ten listeners, we're we're just. <laughs> Our special Actually, guest had to take an important phone call. This is this is this is true. Um, this is probably going to be one of the better episodes. Just judging how the last interview went. And being completely honest, this guy, if I can just figure out what he does for work by the end of this this meeting, I'll, I'll consider it a success. So far, he said he's welded, he cleans, he does shipping, he's a babysitter. I don't know what the fuck's so, happening. So by babysitter, I think he means some safety. No, yeah, I hope there's he, an actual baby in the warehouse that he also has to tend to. Um, <laughs> ooh, yeah. He I left. He said, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit gone. got important. Shit must have got real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jacob. Jacob, tell me what you think, dude. I want to hear this. Uh, which part? Babysitting? Your, like your theory on it's, it's his career? What I do is. Oh. Oh, I know what he does. I mean, okay. I, okay. I talk to him enough. Right. Still. Um, I mean, he's basically a warehouse manager. So, kind of what Keatsman was, right? He's watching over everyone else. But at the same time, he's also a welder by trade. Gotcha. So he is on the line making this stuff for Amazon, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. I got to, it now. And so by babysitting, he's basically, I'm above other people and make sure that they do their shit correct. Here's Which the funny is, thing, dude. Yeah. He probably hates sales reps like me. Yes, more than yeah. likely. This is going to be, I it. can't wait to kind of dig into that a little bit and just <laughs> like kind of. <laughs> but sorry J- james you were saying no i, I was nothing um <laughs> nothing of importance <laughs> nothing important um i do think he's uh well i think most people hate sales reps yeah. i hate sales reps and i'm in sales yeah and i'm in oil sales i am literally um what do they call that the slick devil piece of shit oil sales are they have like a word for it <laughs> hey what's up he's back <laughs> Hey, apologize. Yes, like I said, adult babysitter. I get phone calls yeah. too, so it's okay. Good, yeah. Um, so you know, we have. I don't have any kids, so those are my children. My work, oh, my work people. Lucky your work you. babies. Lucky yeah. you. Job security. <laughs> Got have it. Have you had to fire anybody recently? The the best part about it is, I got an HR department. I just tell <laughs> I just tell somebody who's not good at their shit and I've coach him and coach him. And then, Hey, get not me a new out. guy. Get me a new guy. Oh, you tell HR to do that. I, yep. He hands it off. It's easy. I didn't know easy. HR like fired people. Hey. I thought, I thought it was the manager. Everybody, everybody, I'm a, I'm a supervisor basically. So everybody knew what they signed up for. And if you can't hit rate, and you can't yeah. learn from someone that can do it, then bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome, dude. It affects my bonus money, which it's like uh, pays rent for, you know, two of the three months that it is. So Right, right. It's like, come on, bro. I'm not. Did you get that stimmy check, though? Did you get the stimmy? <laughs> of course I did. Good, good. I got yeah. all stimmies. I just can't get my tax return, ironically. Really? Yes. So I filed it in fucking March. So apparently I'm one of 20% that can only get their, or that have to wait 16 weeks. 16 wow, weeks. Wow. That's bullshit. Yeah, like, it's fun. <laughs> I did the e-file. I did everything possible to get it as quick Turbo as I tax? could. Oh, yeah, I do it. I no do plug. all my own taxes. <laughs> Damn, dude. Or did you do the free version? So they said, fuck you, you're going to wait. Are you? Does, does he look like he no. does the free version? No. 
I mean, I he do just look said he like uses his have, bonus. Do, you're right. I will. I do look like the guy that would do the free version, but I'm oh, not that so. retard. <laughs> you never go full retard. So, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> You, you buy that shit so you get those extra lines to do deductibles. Right. I moved mm. states this last tax year, this oh, last tax right. season. So it's ironic, but I owed the state of Missouri what like eleven dollars, which usually I've been taking home eight to nine dollars over the last four years. But now I'm starting to pay in, which I oh, work. God. No, it's stupid because I worked so much overtime. It's hmm. it's retarded. I should pay zero. I should get money back for the amount. Right. Like I put in like last year, I, my base salary would would have put me at I think forty three last year, and I made like sixty just off of overtime shifts. Oh man, that's oh, how so much you, overtime. Once you break fifty, yeah, yeah. I was I was pulling time trying to get get out of some just get the money right and get ahead paying off some student <laughs> loans so yeah dude um ironically i'm going back to college so oh nice oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah? what do you want to do with that uh finish <laughs> oh, oh you have some credits you have some credits already big on yeah, the finish game i have like a year left but <laughs> What'd you say, Jacob? Yeah. <laughs> Real big on the finishing game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, trust me. It could go for a few years, but I'll finish. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. <laughs> We're still talking about college? <laughs> uh, and, yes, absolutely. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> it's it's been what all it's my been women always leave very satisfied. <laughs> Actually, I lie. It's been three because I, I put myself through welding school, but if that works towards finishing my bachelor's, then um, it's basically just extracurriculars. It's like playing soccer or something, going for a business degree. So, marketing. Yeah, back to, back to the Legion. Back to the Legion, at playing that. soccer. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a killer high school season, man. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were always the, hey. the athlete. No one could catch you because you would sweat so much. Exactly, but yeah. what position? What position did I play through high school? I don't know. Goalie? Take yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's all you Dude, did. Uh, wanted to do at Shaz too. I, hey, sometimes I, you just want to be a catcher, you know? At Shaz, what do you mean, dude? Like that was you're you're talking to your your goalie. I know. <laughs> you will respect him. You were. But like, did you get so sweaty that the ball would slip between your fingers when you would try to, you know, catch it? Not at chess. Not a chess. Do you, are you now? Are you still naturally a little more sweaty than your colleagues? Is that still a thing? Or yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look good though. Yeah, you're looking good, dude. Nah, it's just putting out the beard yet. Still a Cardinals fan. <laughs> still a Cardinals fan. Uh, honestly. It... I'm a I'm still the Red Sox fan more than I am a Cardinals. Wow! Fan. But you're wearing a what you're wearing a Cardinals shirt. Yes, love that. That's what yes. he has because I've has. lived in St. Louis for 20 years and I have accumulated for free some swag. Oh, I God. opened a savings account, okay, and I got uh, a free jersey. Get out of here! What same day <laughs> savings account free jersey? Boom! Why not? And Why then the fuck this not? hat, yeah. Vince Coleman. Oh, I thought it was Jordan. Got it. I got oh, it, it for going to a game. And then it's got the little STL oh, thing. So like that's awesome. It's dude. a St. Louis day for me. I don't know. Well, the blues are playing currently and yeah. they need to fucking win. And they're Bad. losing. Bad. Are they? I don't know. I haven't if even looked. I, I thought I mean, the blues were in Canada. No. <laughs> no. I'm thinking of the blue jays. I'm thinking of the blue jays, aren't I? Yes, you well, are. I mean, at Absolutely. least they won at least they won the uh the, the cup two what two years ago yes uh, that was their first time and they came back and from i think uh at least a 3-0 deficit round one they had the hardest trip to the cup out of anybody yeah and they they did it though and they had to beat my bruins to do it i was pissed <laughs> i was pissed yeah that's fine i also i went down i went downtown for that i actually went in disguise wearing this exact same shirt because I don't have any blues jerseys. Oh. 
So, so you were I just had Cardinals. to go repping something St. Louis related just to go <laughs> join the multitude. Oh, that must have been a crazy, were, crazy crowd. Oh, it, wild. It was fun. It was a great time. Talk about a vibe. Like yeah. you're in all of it. And that was um, pre-COVID too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Honestly, wow. in Missouri, they, if it was during COVID, it wouldn't have been a difference, right? So they, right? I mean, they're in the they south. They got, they <laughs> yeeted themselves a little bit, <laughs> a little bit, a little right. bit. So they they let the counties do what they want. So if of you're in St. Louis County, then they were they were trying to not do it, but they still had to just to be cool with everybody else. Um, sounds like to me. And then, but if you went out to the sticks, uh, they had it for three days, wow. the whole mask thing. So put it up. So that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, out here, they're saying, and I got this update by the weather channel who also gives you really good push notifications for cool shit, except for when they said, Oh, you can finally stop wearing your mask inside. It's like, <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also. <laughs> so, man, dude, this is this is great, guys. I love this. It's so good seeing you. You too. Yeah. Dude. It's been you're way too sexy. long. You're, I'm just gonna say. I'm coming out saying, look at sexy, dude. Yeah, good looking, dude. <laughs> I'm staying under 200 pounds. I'm cool with it. <laughs> hey, dude. You know, give me your number after this. You know, we'll we'll, we'll dude, talk. Dude, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'll, I'll 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 pull out the the old notebook for that one. Uh, I was hoping you pull something a, else out. I'll, I'll keep a firm copy of this. I was hoping you keep something else firm, but you know, <laughs> well, it's well. been a while, hasn't it? It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> So, so about all that, man. Yeah. What are you so guys doing? Um. Well, I don't. I, Spencer is doing. He's moving, actually. Yes, I'm moving next week. Yeah. Where? Where um, from? I'm, to where to? I'm in just a shitty part of Houston, moving to a better part of Houston. Really? Oh, you know, what shitty part of Houston? Uh, it's like 20 minutes west of the Galleria on Richmond. Um, Richmond okay. Avenue. So, yeah. So you must have heard that I went to school down there. I I did not. I went to U of H for a year. Oh, shit. My mom nah, my mom got her I master's figured you'd there. Uh, heard it from old Jake. But... Not yet. <laughs> no. He actually that that's the last there. time I've seen Jake. Of... Yeah, it was us with, and, uh, uh, with Brandon, Brandon. Blake. <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, Brandon went to U of H too? No, he oh. didn't. He didn't no. go to it uh, was, uh higher education which is good for him yeah the smart love move. That guy, i was down there for oh, a I love and you and brandon right. picked me up and we yep. smoked a couple bowls on the way to the mall yep nice <laughs> uh yeah. so good you were times. just hanging out with brandon and hey, man just chilling oh dude just... i kicked it i probably kicked it with him more than i actually did my schoolwork. Not yeah that's lie. easy to do Dude, that was just like a, it was just like a flashback from the past because we were yeah. such boys at school. Like, it was just different, you know, for the both of us, at, especially during that time period, you know, like when you're freaking like 20, 21, and you're yeah. like, shit, dude. Like, do anything. <laughs> we're seeing each other for the first time and, yeah like eight years like it was wild just seeing him at that time and then um then yeah we what was he then, like i i don't know i think you might have seen him more recently than anybody like what was brandon like like i gotta i want to devote the rest of this to brandon <laughs> <laughs> i love brandon oh Me god too. Yeah. absolutely love brandon but he was oh really, really shy when I met him. Okay. And when I met him in Houston, he, at that point in his life, he, you know, he, he didn't really know what he was doing. He wasn't going to college. He was still living at home and 
you know, working and stuff and um, working for his dad at what, what is it, Jay Randall's? Uh, yeah, I think he was at Randall's at that time. So at that time, but he, I mean, he went and worked in restaurants and stuff too while, while I was down there at the very least. And Jed, I just really, ain't. yeah. Have you talked to him recently, Jake? The last time I talked to him is honestly in Houston with both of you. Yeah. Wow. Are you no knows where he's serious? Anymore. Really? Dude, no one. So he's falling he was, off the map, He was map, always dude. never, never big on the Facebook thing. Never no. was. And um, I never had his number after I left uh, Houston with y'all. So I just right. never get contact with him. Was he still just as wild as he, he was started, as a kid? He started dating. I'll be, I'll be real. Like he started dating uh, a girl. Like at the time, it was a girl that I had interest in. Hell, is and she was coming from St. Louis to Houston to come hang out with me and Brandon, and then ends up dating Brandon. And I'm like, I mean, wow. that's cool that you're dating her, but like could have told me like little heads up would have been nice no like, kidding. dude this is a podcast for that I mean, we're called whole, the cooks for christ weird weird <laughs> fucking thing dude yeah like, dude cook. <laughs> fucking brandon man and i, I was like and brandon came back and wanted to hang out in st louis while they were dating and all the shit was going on i'm like brandon come on up to st louis i want to see you like i don't care about a bitch like <laughs> right I'm not talking to her. I just care about hanging out with you. And I know you're going to want to hang out with her because this is all new for you. And she's in fucking St. Louis. And I'm telling you, it's probably not going to work out. But enjoy it while you can. And I still want to hang out with a boy. (laughs) And the last I heard from Brandon was he actually gave me a phone call um, telling me that they broke up that i was right and, and basically i basically broke up with you too right exactly i'm like mm. fuck man that God sucks. damn it yeah mm. i really i'm just deadly curious as to like where he is he's just i mean the last... as far as i know still in houston i don't know okay. anything about what he's doing yeah and i'm not yeah, gonna about to reach out to his parents or anything i mean my he, mom and his mom are dude, really he had, close he had a f- he went on a binge, like for real. Like, I hope to Christ he's fucking okay. Yeah, I, I'm sure he is now. But at the time, like, I, it was a kind of like hope to fucking Christ. Like, Jesus, dude, I, I smoked him out for the first time. Like, I yeah. got him high, and nice. and he started hanging out with some restaurant folk, and you know what that means. I, I yeah, yep. So he he was he was messing with some people and. When this whole thing with this chick named Sophie went down, like his buddy called me saying he was going to come up to St. Louis and pull people. I'm like, dude, roll up here all 14 hours of that fucking drive with all of your homies to show up to my house that I'm not even in. My dad's got a fucking gun. <laughs> like, what, what do you want to do, dude? Like, come at me. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'll be at my house when you get here. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, come on. Play yeah. game. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> don't don't call me over your buddy's fucking... This is not Brandon. This is Brandon's work friend. Oh. It was like, yeah, this isn't Brandon. This is Brandon's work friend. And then I'm like, dude, yeah. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's the address. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please, thank you. Make now make. see that I am 16 hours away from your ass. You ain't got a bone to pick with me. <laughs> yeah. Cross state lines with bad Get intentions. Fucked. That's why I told him. And I had never heard from Brandon after that. Oh. No, that's wow. That's uh so guess we saw sideways and the bitch came between us and fucking what are you gonna do? Guy's gonna what do what do? he does. I've since then like I still remember his fucking birthday. If you guys remember Adam Hofstetter, they share the same birthday. I couldn't forget it. Oh, the they do. Me. So February 9th, oh. both of them. So I wish both of them a happy birthday that day. Happy birthday. And yeah. I, I hear back from one of them. 
Yeah. By the way, Adam Hofstetter and I are still friends to this day. He's a real cool cat. I I really like him. Yeah. No, he, he told me he's been uh, keeping in touch with you too. And uh, yeah, you like his little law school thing? It's kind yeah. of cute. Like, he's starting to post things on Facebook that are controversial. Like, ooh. <laughs> I yeah, don't he, give a fuck about any of it, but I just think it's funny. I just, he's I my think best it's friend. Funny. But he's he's doing good. He him and his fiance are in Colorado when he's doing law school. So I'm like, dude, mad fucking cheers. Like, yeah, go for the gold. Like, do it. Get it. Especially while you're young, man. Gotta do oh, it now. Of course. I, he has the support. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But like, hey, take advantage of every opportunity. I had an opportunity. I fucked it up. I'm trying to get even with my shit. So that's why I want my marketing degree. <laughs> That's so, a good degree. I've, so now I've got a question for you. Absolutely. This is, this is relating to, I guess, Shaz and I guess in some Ooh. way. Um, right. do, you, spicy. do you think you were prepared at all for the real world by going to Shaz? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait. Oh! Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> That was totally questioned wrong. <laughs> the answer you... was, the answer shouldn't have been a question. It should have been a statement. You did not get back into reality the right way. There was no way, shape, or form. I even tried my best. I was not fucking ready for that shit. Nope. Oh. I was, I got, it was just awkward. Yeah. Because I had at that point, I had like core shit I was holding on to. Like, you can't, you can, all things aside, you know, like, this is right, this is wrong. And I'm still going to do all of these things. And I did. I fucking would, for uh, about three to four years, I would get up at fucking 6 a.m., like we <laughs> always did. And I would take my own ass to church. Uh, a couple times for a few months there until I was like, there's just literally old people here. What am I doing? <laughs> like, yeah. like, Why am I and then I'm like spinning <laughs> in my head. But honestly, <laughs> when I like, I mean, hard, hard out the gate, I was in denial for, uh, it took me about two and a half years to just get over all of that. Okay. All right. Like, do you mean denial? So, like, like- you, you, in your head, you would say that I, was a gr- that was only a good experience. There was no bad. Correct. Right. Correct. And precisely. Thank you. I think yeah. that's a common trend, dude. Um, yeah. No. It, it. Oh, it fucking is. Mm, <laughs> Some are still in it. Still. <laughs> Fuck them. That, that's why we wanted to get you on here because you have from both schools, right? Yes. Yeah. From, from Shaz. Dude. That's how I know you, and I then mean, from fucking, Icus. Uh, what is Icus, bro? Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Did we were we in uh, summer training together? Were we in boot camp at the same time? Yeah, <laughs> you joined in what eighth grade, seventh grade? I was there in seventh. Yeah, holy so shit! You went to Icus at seventh because then you came to Shaz at eighth. Because Jacob, what you, yep. Max, Jacob, you started oh, right. Yep. Mm-hmm. James yeah, was with me in the OG class. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I didn't join because my parents didn't let me. Because they were smart. Are you serious. Yeah. Yes. So okay. So yes. you two <laughs> were in Shaz. You Jacob wait. I thought you Evan. were like apostolic for a little bit. Then you left. Am I right? Um, I joined. You in earned your stripes. <laughs> yeah. You, oh, you left. So after a year, so I came like, back. After, and yeah. Yeah. Right. After one year, they your parents were like, "Fuck nah. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were like, "Well, okay. If you really want to that much, you can go." Yeah. Right. So, oh, I, dude, but it's that's a whole fucked up, fucked up conversation. And I will tell you all of it. That's what we're here for. Dude, <laughs> yes. Seventh fucking grade, dude. So none of us joined in seventh aside from you, right? You yeah. Know, it's insane that you can even, I forget you can even, can you join in sixth? Right? No. no. But I was, <laughs> I'm so surprised. Here, okay, so here's the crazy Holy thing. So shit. I was the tallest of us. Because mm-hmm. I was also held back a year when I moved from when our parents moved from uh, out of Massachusetts to St. Louis. 
the funnel school that I was in, Gateway Academy. <laughs> um, yes, terms. Fuck. Wow. They Edward Hopkins Gateway. stationed out of Gateway Academy. Stationed. They just cycled the motherfuckers, man. Yeah, right. They cycled yeah. people, bro. Love that. It, that shit. That shit was fucking wild. Thinking about that crap now, like, bro, they had. If you were to apply what the legionaries of Christ did to any, to Amazon, <laughs> fuck them, like they would make more than billions of dollars. They would have been in space and planted on Mars with that kind of a fucking system, dude. Like, holy crap. It, yeah. And then they again, you're it. like, it's like Jeff Bezos saying, hey, I'm going to walk out of here with uh, about three million bucks. And uh, yeah, it's for God's will. <laughs> so that was your middle school gateway was your middle school yep no that okay. was so that or, was sorry elementary. i was there in third grade okay but i repeated third grade twice okay okay so it'd be so like us. it's like us third grade fucked you up it's us going to north well so oh okay. in massachusetts yeah. third grade you don't learn spanish in st louis gateway academy third grade you're three years behind oh fuck <laughs> You don't even get the pre the kindergarten shit, the Dora the Explorer edition. Like you don't oh, get no. that. So right. I got held back in read. third one year. So uh, Adam Hofstetter was a classmate of mine in my third grade class. It's where I met him. And since then been friends today. Oh, that's and crazy. Yes, that's no, it is. He's a 20 year old friend. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Me and him have have shot the shit for a, a light year, man. It's it's been awesome. Crazy. Awesome to keep people this close. That's pretty cool, dude. Um so where was I? Yeah, third grade through sixth grade, and then I homeschooled. Then I joined the Legionaries in seventh. So I technically didn't funnel myself i was already washed right oh, like, okay I, because i was even though i homeschooled because it was cheaper for my parents they still would allow me into ecyd and stuff like that so i would still go on the christmas trip and the easter trip and all of these things so i was very much a part of that that wanted me to continue to pursue that priesthood lifestyle we once right. all had um, <laughs> right that's dude, crazy. That's fucking crazy, that dude. Did. <laughs> I am choicing words tonight. You don't, don't have to, dude. Let loose. We're, the, we're, we're <laughs> already we're the fucking cucks for Christ, dude. No, I fucking fuck no. You want. Cucks for Christ. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, let's fucking go, dude. It's fucking nuts. So you were in seventh grade at Shaz, and then eighth grade you transferred to Iker. No, and so other way around. Uh, what's, other way around. What's his oh, fucking name? Uh, Father Stephen. Father Stephen Lashinsky. <laughs> it was the rector of ICUS. And yes. apparently my name was on the pallet to go to fucking Indiana before they even called my dad. Wow. Really? So father 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 shitface got a <laughs> got a phone call from my dad saying, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, my son just told me on our Sunday conversation that uh, he's going to Indiana. <laughs> And he's going to start up the new school. And my dad's like, wait, what? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what's going on? And he said, you do anything with my son ever again and without you tell me everywhere he's fucking going every fucking week for the next fucking oh, as long man. as I have to deal with your ass. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You, what, you want to know what it I think the, I think we're missing the point. You want to know the best best part of this whole thing? <laughs> yes, I do. How crazy the story was that I got out. Okay. Yeah, I was there for it. three and a half years, guys. I don't think did y'all put that time in three and a half with those fucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we all did. So because yeah. I was there for right, okay. Oh, weird Spencer, were you candidate? Dude, I was a fucking novice. Uh, no, I professed temporary vows for like three oh, months, and then I said, wow. "Fuck this." <laughs> yeah. Oh. He went far. 
fuck. So I got dude, I was balls man. deep in that shit. Hey, Amen, dude. Yeah. Holy, yeah, dude. holy fuck. But like, I think your situation I'm is still bishop? worse because of how young you were when you started. You know? Yeah. I mean, you, they got you They're, in seven. No how old are you? Ten? I mean, fuck. I just, Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. Fuck. Shit. I had just turned fourteen. Wow. Like, I think on this, it was May. I think that was on the summer trip because the okay. summer trip was three months. So, right. right. Um, yeah. But I, mean, I simply put, I got out because in my mind there was a loophole that, and I'm, they said this, they preached it. No matter what the the legionaries of Christ say, you always follow the bishop. So the bishop of St. Louis told me I could stay home, and I should. Wow. And you my, should. My mother knocked on his door and said, my son's going back. I can't do anything about this. He is convinced he's going back. We had just got back from Italy, did the whole ski trip. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm going fucking back. Masiel's a fucking... He's like God, you yeah, know. Like Nuestro I, Padre, baby. I want, yeah, Nuestro fucking Padre. Yeah. Scouts <laughs> honor. Like, yeah. <laughs> so it took a, a meeting with the bishop, and I met the bishop for dinner. And he told me, and he, I asked him, I'm like, are all of these allegations accurate? And he's like, 100%. You should not go back there. Oh, wow. Um, What's his you, name? You, uh, uh, can you give he's a name? actually a canon lawyer under the fucking Pope. So, um, <laughs> Damn. shout out, shout Bishop, out, Bishop, Bishop, you Burke, knew a Catholic guy, celebrity. He honestly, I fucking hate Catholics. I'm not Catholic, and I will <laughs> yes. never be again in my Dude, life. I, I totally but, spoke over you. What's his name? But, Sorry, I fucked up. Uh, Archbishop Burke. Okay. Oh, Raymond oh. Burke. I think I've heard it. Yeah, Raymond, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that guy. Burke. Holy fuck! He, he was like, "Dude, do not." Go he's back. high up. That's yeah. insane. And he is a hot, yeah, like you said, a high up motherfucker. So, wow. in that papal shit, he's in the shit now. He's been there. He's a kind of lawyer. Like, wow, that's lawyer. what does that even mean Dude, like, anymore? Question. Like, I don't even want to <laughs> know. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he was the one who told me. He's like, "You shouldn't go back." I'm like, "Why?" why like and he's like because it's all true man it's all true it's all true and i'm like so what do i do like i'm baffled and where i could i could go to public school and get my ass eaten alive (laughs) or i could go back to the same place in which it came out of which i did i went to gateway and then i finished homeschooling oh okay and Evan, and, real quick, just because yes. we were at Shaz at that same time. Well, yeah, I think you left the year I was gone. Yes. Were we not just freaking drilled that everything was a lie? Every fucking thing, dude. I like, swear to God, it's, it's I, all if I saw it's all... Eduardo Della Torres again in my life, I I, I could not remember. His <laughs> I fucking name. kill him. Man does not deserve life. Yeah, man deserves to not live. I yeah. will go to jail for years for that. But if that man decides to show his face again, he didn't touch me, didn't do anything like that. But what he did to all of us mentally. Oh, ridiculous. I, I will would put an end to his organism. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that guy. I have no problem with that. Fuck yeah. him, dude. I'll fuck him. Yeah. But, no, I mean, beyond <laughs> that, don't need that in my life. Things are good. Things are yeah. going to be good. So I'm not, not going to be uh, going to jail anytime soon, guys, over <laughs> mass murder. Let me tell you that. <laughs> well, it wouldn't and be no, mass. I'm not. Just be I will few. stay. Do you know where he is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in Rome, probably. <clears throat> it's where probably. they're all, where all, all the ones Dude, that like, they, lied, they, they all got him. to Rome. Dude, they, last I heard, last I heard, they sent his ass from Chaz to uh Cheshire because yep. he couldn't do the kid they wouldn't let him do the kids shit anymore. He couldn't do the kids. <laughs> well he could but basically I, dude that no, motherfucker the... stole my books. 
the 12 I, of oh, us, really? the 12 of us in class a, were all too I had tight an italian <laughs> dictionary to english for me to study and i had to submit it for review and then he's got it for whatever reason i'm in his bedroom because i got called into his bedroom that happened what? Oh, that's weird and, yes extremely in fucking weird father's hall but he didn't it, but it was a meeting because he had it in that room he had an office and then his bedroom so i met in his office in his bedroom but still could have met me anywhere the fuck else in that godforsaken building that we never left yeah chose that room fuck that guy but i got in there there was a miscommunication i went into the uh meeting early or let's say on fucking time <laughs> punctuality so, is key punctuality <laughs> is of the essence so i was there early and then i peeped inside his fucking room and saw my dictionary and i stole it back now good nice. for you yeah i did i did Dude. that was that was uh 15 year old evan right there stole my dictionary I'm, back. I'm pretty sure <laughs> nick harding ended up with that dictionary maybe <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm sure i got jacked i got jacked by all of y'all when i left there was <laughs> shit that i had fucking missing i'm like these mother fucks. <laughs> i even came back for for certain things which certain things i could have easily replaced so you actually okay. went back Still to school to collect guys. your shit you went back there to collect your stuff my parents brought me up because oh, i nice. really i really just wanted to see people like I told him, I, I want to go back up. Fuck all this. I just want to hang out with the boys one last time. Never, never got to because they were, uh, fuck, what, what's that uh, Mexican whorehouse they have in Wisconsin? Oh, Edgerton? Whatever the, it's called. Yeah, you know what we, I'm talking we got about. sent to uh, what the fuck? What? I'm, I'm so Oakland. No, Oakland. Oakland. That- was it Oakland? I Maybe. No, close enough. You win. Yeah, I remember because we had to go and talk to someone and do, like mental checks on everyone. For, yeah, we were there for. I just week. remember whooping the ass in soccer like every time. Every yeah, because we were there for a week. Did they try to get you back uh, when you visited with your? Did they try to? No. Like, hey man, you um, might want to like rethink this. Fucking now, the name's gonna slip me, but. Uh, when I was there, like everyone was gone. The weekend I chose to come okay. up, everyone was gone except yep. for that maintenance guy. <laughs> and uh, his son, his son went to Purdue or Notre Dame, one of the two. Wow. I just don't remember who he was, but he was the cool guy. The yeah. cool one, right? Yeah, yeah it was, he was um, the cool guy. It was John. It started with okay. a D. Oh, fuck, you're making me blank now. I know, I know who you're talking about, but right, I yeah, saw he was, him. He was always him. cool. Him and Hobbs, dude, Hobbs was okay. Oh, cool Hobbs was the man, dude. One dude, of the best Hobbs teachers. Was... I still love Dunlap, man. That guy, talk talk about mm-hmm. some great heads on some shoulders, man. They were those we had... guys probably got under the fuck paid. Oh, oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, Evan, Evan, of. Uh, uh, a while ago, I was telling uh, Spencer and James, you know, our first year at Shaz, how we barely went to class because we were always doing manual labor. Oh, mm-hmm. like you and I or yeah. just you? Just both of us. Our whole class. So, Taking out all those cedar trees around the building. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you and I was out there with fucking but- axes, bro. Pick axes, <laughs> shovels. They didn't but, even give us a truck. Like fourteen year old. They said, "All right, axes. all forty of you, pull this out of the ground." Oh my like god! 20 I remember that when trees. we uh, we did the whole garden over. Yeah, <laughs> laid every brick in that garden. That's right, because I was the uh, I was the like the gardener. Like I would have to take like a five minute breakfast just to go plant yeah. or water the plants. <laughs> God, serious? Yeah, I'd fucking like shorten my lunch or my breakfast and went out and watered the plants. And the then water Mary's garden. Yup. Got them bitches good, though. 
Oh, they were clean. <laughs> they were crisp. Oh, they were clean. <laughs> and they were always Until they let Giovanni Osborne take over. No idea what the fuck yeah. he was doing. I <laughs> love that guy, though. Man, I wish he was on this call. That He's... He, <laughs> I, I could probably him. make that happen one night. Yeah. Oh, could. dude, most definitely. We'll message. We'll make it happen. <laughs> him and Stu, and just get everyone from the gang. Yeah. yeah the dirty dozen. It. The original dirty dozen. Shit. Yeah, I could probably get Nicholas Harding and on too. Mildew infested bathroom stories. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, oh, I just team. got offered to play semi-pro uh, football, though. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. They're like, you, you'd be surprised what you can do. I'm like, dude, I smoke. Like, I'll tell you, <laughs> I'll tell you when I want to run a mile and with and I can do that without stopping, then I'll let you know. Yeah. But currently, it's not the case. Right. <laughs> I am uh, definitely more of the hiker. Uh, okay. I'm into hiking. I'm into hiking. Oh, fucking as long as I'm it, doing dude. a spiritual communion, I'm good. <laughs> Dude, if you don't bring that Eucharist with you, you're fucked, man. That's your walking incense. <laughs> Dude, for real, man. Like, I, I just, like, I would always, I was always that guy, like, hey, y'all want to stop for, like, a little spiritual communion? I was that prick. Yeah, and now I, I do it in it. sales. I now Spencer. I do it in sales. I go up to my customers. I'm like, hey, where's your volume at? You know, I'm just, I'm just that guy. So, yeah. <laughs> where's your volume at? <laughs> yeah. Like, why aren't y'all buying my oil, fam? At 10W40 is <laughs> just sitting on the shelves. It ain't going to fucking buy itself. You should ask them to do a spiritual communion too. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I, think like, what the fuck you I haven't about? brought okay, Jesus guys. into it, so that's why it's not going I'm, well. I, I'm I'm terrible about this, but what the fuck was that shit? Like, <laughs> like no tell idea. me again because I'm oh. totally not giving a fuck about it for that long. Like spiritual communion. Um, yes, I remember Jesus. it, but I don't remember what we did. We, how did it we start? Would, we would uh, talk about how we weren't able to receive Jesus in the sacrament that's right right now so just come in my heart <laughs> so Giselle yeah there. but was that like something we would do like on a hike yes and, like just stop and just like because like you're just supposed to be longing for drift. jesus yes you're supposed to be longing for jesus so much when you're not you know when he's not in your mouth that you know right. or going through your intestines in the form of a shit right. that you just like are just obsessed with him and want to be with him so you're like even though you're not here right now i want you inside me I think it might have been more of a New Hampshire thing too. Definitely yeah. more of a New Hampshire because thing. Because we did it all the time. It yeah, was no, Cheshire, sure. really obnoxious. It really kicked up and couldn't do shit. Oh, oh really? yeah, you guys. Yeah, you, you would turn dude, up a notch. Lent, Lent was hell for you. Yeah, dude. You couldn't talk to anybody. Like, Novisha <laughs> was hell. Novisha was hell shit, from beginning you to You were end. silent as fuck. We at least got to talk during games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And sometimes during meals. Sometimes, yeah. dude. To this Jacob, day, I Jacob, cannot how eat. How are your children? Oh my god! They're good, man. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. <laughs> how old now? How old? Uh, my little girl's three and a half, and my boy is two, three months. Two, two, four yeah, months. Bro. Congrats, man! That's so awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's fun. It's been four months. That's and you know that's what? Like, Just to make this a little bit more months. heartwarming. I only use head country. Hey. Only fuck lorries. Fuck, yeah, fuck the, basically only... anything else. There have been a handful of spices that I've found that are good. Don't get me wrong. Oh, and they, in Missouri, I'll, 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 in I'll Missouri is a really, really good place. Uh, they have some shops out there that like specialize in hot sauce and it's cool. Like I've yeah. gone there to like test some things, but when it yeah. comes to just a standard head country. You can't use enough. Doesn't matter. Like the if you were like, oh, fuck, there's too much seasoning on my shit. It's probably okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, put too much head country. Taste even better. Dude, my, my <laughs> buddy cooked me a steak one time. He's going to hate me for sharing this. But like, he was so excited. He's like, dude, I cooked the best steak. I cooked the best fucking steak. You're going to love this. And he got his dad's like lighter fluid charcoal oh. and he used that didn't let it cook down enough and so you're just biting into steak that tastes like lighter fluid oh sweet yeah, like just sweet. to see his ego deflate was like really sad i was like oh man dude i was trying to that's... i was like dude this is amazing and he's like fuck you it's it sucks well, like, the yeah, eucharist okay, didn't bad. gift everybody okay? <laughs> yeah that's true 
the blood of Christ is only for Catholics. You know, not everybody could just drink it. The blood of cows. The blood of cows. <laughs> Evan and I used to tear it up in that kitchen before we actually got a chef. Fuck yeah, we did. K- quesadillas oh every God. day. That's where you oh, started. Yeah. That's where That's you got your. We all wanted to eat. We all love that shit. <laughs> That's we, all, your skills, what was we all had horrible gut problems because all the hot sauce we put on that shit, though. Everything was hot sauced. Like, Dude, I remember when we killed a cat. <laughs> Hold on. What? <laughs> I haven't Jacob. told him about that. I haven't told him about that. <laughs> okay, well, welcome to the podcast. Let's hear this fucking shit. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Fuck, dude. There's a dude, lot of those message. were dark fucking times. Okay, we're yeah. just gonna skip over it. I'm hey, gonna let that hey, go. hey! No, Evan, I've got, I've why got a would real you question. Shove things under the rug, Evan. If that's what, that's what we did now. for years, that's what we did for years. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of repression, fam. I'm used to it. I can repress things pretty well. Evan, yes. was Shaz haunted? Had to be. Fucking had to, had right? to be. Had to be. The, the old Spartans room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, dirt, that was the, gymnasium, the dirt, right? The dirt floor locker room. No, that was in the basement, wasn't the, it? In the basement by the boiler room. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking right. <laughs> Fuck. I just can't believe Dude, there's a dirt floor. That, I'm, like, <laughs> that's insane. I'm sorry, guys. I know that sounds terrible coming out the mouth, but like, that's why I wanted to say it. I'm like, Dude, we fucking killed a cat. They made <laughs> Jesse Widener actually kill it. <laughs> I'm not fucking lying. Like <laughs> that shit happened. That's why uh, I don't care about saying it. I believe yeah, you. Oh. It, <laughs> Wait. So it why was really that? fucked up? It was fucked up. It was. Yeah. Dude, when you're brainwashed, how do you explain that? That's not the person well, I am. I never. You... The worst. The worst thing that this law enforcement has on me is locking me up for fucking weed. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Welcome. Yeah, but that's, like you that it and then one DUI. Okay, well we're not going to talk about it. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's I hit great. a cop. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> there <laughs> we go. <laughs> he was asking for it. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at what he was wearing later. So wow, that's so. I mean, at least no one got hurt except the no, cop. Nobody got really. dude. Yeah, honestly, it was just it was a fucking stupid situation i had just finished working a 70 hour work week and i made the wrong turn i pot i banged a yui and i slammed all my brakes i did no damage to the cop car oh it okay. was just it was over yeah yeah because yeah, he had a, he had a fucking uh suburban oh and i'm driving i'm driving my chrysler 200 i went under and i didn't that the damage on my car was probably like five, six grand, and damage on his car was uh, buff. Oh, so yeah, I might have cracked a camera. Oh, well, what can you do? They, they all were apparently already arresting someone for the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god, <laughs> that's great. <Pretty> timing. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about a segue, huh? Yeah, well. <laughs> You know, speaking of brainwashing and stuff, I think it's kind of funny. Like, you can only talk about this stuff with people who have been through it. I I feel like that's why, like, like you and Adam Hofstetter must be a good, like, a good pair because well, you've been through everything. Yep, he was he was only in there for what a year, and he was out. So by the time I like re met him when I was out he um, was very much already like back in everything. Like it oh, never okay. faced him to heck half as much as it was with the same as you Spence. Like, like you are not the same person. You remember Rick Cox? Not at all. No, really? He was in the novitiate. He... Oh, how old are you again? Uh, 30. Wow. 30. Weird. Okay. Yeah, Sam, 30. I just turned 30. Yeah. Me too. Oh, really? 30. What's your birthday, dude? May 3rd. May 7th. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> happy birthday bro we're like we're the same fucking our Good parents brothers. got it on around the same time dude i know that's cool 90 <laughs> that's cool. Uh, full season taurus baby 
stubborn. Yas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's too much. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. <laughs> um, fuck. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're, it's all good. Um, yeah, bro. <laughs> did your? Do you notice any? Yeah. Any? Um, yeah. This is something we talk about sometimes that we have issues socializing with people. Like not now oh, as much. Now? Well, I guess now too, even, but (laughs) yeah, look at this podcast. No, yeah, (laughs) not anymore. Okay, no, but like when you got out, oh, like I said, I I don't think I was fully recovered for about five years. Okay, that sounds like normal as the way I might have been in another reality, yeah, precisely. So, yeah, In in an uncultish world. (laughs) <laughs> right <laughs> in an uncultish <laughs> well it's a good 40, thing you didn't go through more vicious <laughs> <laughs> no um and that was that's also the crazy thing so the year that i left would have been the year i went candidate yeah uh, that's what i was walking into that's why i wanted to go back so bad it's because i had done all that time Right. At least let me put the cassock on for fun. For once. Yeah. And it really isn't that much fun. No. All I got, all I got was the altar boy uniform. <laughs> yeah. That red sweater, Bad. man. Let me tell you. Fuck that blue sweater, bro. That shit was hot as uh, fuck. That shit true. sucked. I mean, I yeah, they, they just stop already. We already know the cast fucking sucked, but we're not talking about cassocks bro the the, we're the, not blue, on that the blue and gray yeah, was pretty sweaters. cool i that thought it was a, cool it looked cool in a in a odd perspective i guess in a recruitment <laughs> video <laughs> to us that's all you ever wanted that's yeah. what masiel like to see his kids in or it was either that or just to beat father and water with the soccer yeah you go to his bedroom for a chat and he's like hey make sure you're wearing that blue sweater Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> Jacob. Yeah, you remember party. that day that oh, God. the first day that he lost an indoor soccer in our gym. Oh, that was a bad day. That was a bad day. Yeah, Evan stopped every he, single he shot. He even set the teams <laughs> in his favor. He's, yeah, he set the teams. I was the only one. We had no defense. <laughs> No you, had mid. No, you had no we one. Had nobody against me. You've got you had, you had freaking Dino Smalley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds aggressive. Yeah. Dude, yeah, talk about it. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. I love this. Dude, that was oh, bad. God. I have Jacob Bobman against me, and he's on their defense just to like pat it down. But enough time went by that we actually fucking scored. And Father Eduardo went off. Lost his This man shit. lost his shit. That he was losing one nothing. To kids? To like kids. Yes. And, but it was over <laughs> like, it took us, what, a fucking probably hour just to get a fucking goal. Yes. And then we, we got ours and I stopped every shot by Father. He fucking tried everything in the books that he had. I he, he, he did, yeah, dude. That, that he didn't play day, sports with I us. I walked a lot into either. that and knowing the teams was like, fuck you, bro. Like, I'm never on a good team because no. I always win. Dude, because I'm the only, goalie. There are only a handful of us that were even athletic. You're right, though. You're absolutely right. I mean, you, right. myself. Amancha. Yup. Stu. Yup. That was it. That oh, we would have we would have steamrolled you guys. Not yeah, me. we had quite nah. the athletic group. We had yeah, not, not us. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you throw in like a fucking. We had fucking, Koreans. Um, short on the, yeah, we had Koreans. Yeah, we, we had a whole have, team. We, we didn't had a whole have team. That. <laughs> so we played. Yeah. We, had Rome, Rome, we had corn. We had fucking corn Stephen Cho just steamrolling. <laughs> And Stephen Cho could mash you in sweat too. That would be the 
Yeah. He was the only Korean I've ever seen sweat. Yeah, dude. Even I showed. Told Steven Cho. <laughs> Steven Cho. <laughs> he, he's still in, by the way. Gee, Wait, no he's way. still in the Legion? Yeah. He did, had no idea. He had Thomas no idea White's why. Still in. Oh, yeah. No, wait, why, why is he what were you, Why is he still in? Oh, no, because he just, like... Did he miss a flight? Yeah. <laughs> and just be like, fuck it, I guess I'm here forever. Well, the, what, he, what he said when when I asked them, how, like, how'd you guys end up coming to New Hampshire? Like, what? You guys were just in South Korea, and you came here. And he was like, yeah, the priest said we could go to school in the U.S., so we came. <laughs> like, I had no idea what it was. Dude, imagine how easy it would have been to kidnap those people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we All got right. school in the U.S. It's <laughs> just fucking gone. Just, oh, man. <laughs> Talk about Dude, culture. Show. Nuts. We had the only. Um, I'm trying to politically correct. Non-American was. Uh, do you remember Paul Wynn? Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, that motherfucker was gangster. <laughs> he was our. He was our. Our fucking black kid, dude. Like, dude he was the blackest kid the in the shit building. Out of anyone that looked at him wrong. Yup, it wow. was California. But he got some of the best snacks. <laughs> yup. That's all that mattered. What you yep. had for trade. Seriously, yep. that tuck was everything. That tuck and those... Uh, uh, tuck and that those, ass. Those ordination cards, though, yeah? <laughs> Bro. I'm pretty sure I gave mine to Jono. Jono, oh my gosh, yeah. I gave him everything. Oh man, dude! They even oh. play their own fucking card game. Those fucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you could have even laid it on the table and put it in defense till the next turn. Like you just had it. It's worse than Pokemon. <laughs> Which one was it? First edition signed. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Let me let me think. Oh, this is reaching, reaching back. I know <clears throat> it's deep. Mm. I don't even know if I can pull a fucking you had, name. You had Father B. Fuck. Father Bayes. Father. Father <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Uh, second, <laughs> second edition, though. But uh, <laughs> second edition, but one hundred percent on Quaaludes first. <laughs> oh, he must have been on edibles. I mean, there was something up with that dude. I had a Scott Leahy first edition. Brother. Really? That's yep. pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I had it's a rookie. Not, not I had cool. a I had a rookie <laughs> year. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. Fuck, Fuck that, guy. that specific individual as well. <laughs> was he okay. at Chaz? So I'll we be honest. When I left and heard about all the shit. I told my mother, I'm like, first of all, oh shit, 20%. Looks like oh, I right. gotta go inside and smoke some pot. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, Join the club. Oh no. Oh. Right? Um, God, so many questions. You can't even ask them. I'm in the middle of the fucking story. I'm like, Is it even legal out in Oklahoma? Yeah, it's medicinal out here. It's. And we get, we have everything out here. Yeah, that's legit. Yeah, I mean, wax shattered edible. No, but so it. I I told my I told my mom I'm like, dude, there are people in there that tell me on the daily like they hate it, and I want to do what I can to get them out. You know, like. What do I got to do? So my mom actually called Child Protective Services. If you remember that whole instance, Jacob, I that do. was because of me. We actually uh, knew that. And you we knew were... it because somehow you figured it out before it happened. Yep. And it was this whole thing. So my mother fucked up. And instead of telling only Child Protective Services, she emailed the archbishop of the diocese who was best friends with uh father scott riley turns oh, out yikes. and uh, um i get a phone call from father scott riley saying 
is everything okay? Like, I'm sorry you had such a negative experience here. And like, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Who are you calling me? How did you get my number? Like, like, fuck you, dude. Like, I got actually for like a second there, I was rather frightened. Cause I'm like, dude, what's gonna happen? Ain't, right. This ain't cool. But you know where I live? You probably fucking do with these fucking narcs. Like, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Jesus. I was scared. And uh, I mean, obviously nothing ever happened of it, but it was just fucking the whole mind mind games thing. You know, you're yeah. just getting over it. And this is how yeah. you react. You're like, I want to take all these people back home with me. They don't deserve to be here. And I gave a list of names that would specifically be interview- interviewed yep. because I wanted them hopefully to be able to tell the truth. Now, I never knew what happened outside of that other than it took at all. least another few years it was yeah, just a whole was, fuck all it was definitely a couple of years after that you found out i mean we got pulled aside i mean multiple times by multiple different people so really do you remember okay how it was the entrance originally right huh? yeah the, the entrance to the building to shaft oh yeah of course you're right right yeah the bathroom on the left and then that we had the meeting room on the right original oh, man okay there's keep a going small, keep there's going. a small room we all literally filed through and went into that room like one by one with oh. cps like we were called oh. out of classes like every 30 minutes Holy every shit. hour that's pretty cool. Ask yeah. questions. Yeah, you, like, yeah, you fucking then were. We were sent Someone back cared into about class. You. Yeah. We were sent back into class. Jesus. And then the things I, mean, I it, do it went for on people. for I feel like no it recognition. Went on. Story of my fucking life. <laughs> Story of my like fucking life. It went on for a it was a few days because it was like every day you would I still be can't asked almost the exact same open. questions. I could shut down, but they're yeah. still open. Dude, Shaz that tells, is like that tells you about 30 fucking people Indiana. Deep still. 30? Dude, yeah, dude like you should read their shit on their website. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's so oh my sad. God, it'll make you laugh a lot. It's amazing. It'll make you cry a little bit too. Yeah, that too. Because you're like, Probably. oh shit, these are real kids. Yeah. That's oh, I've, I've, I've since then obviously tried to look and see if I have a picture of me because when I meet someone and tell them about this or i'd like meet a girl or something and tell her about all this like i try to like show her a picture like i'm not bullshitting you like this shit fucking happened here yeah. i am in a red fucking sweater here <laughs> i am in a well, blue fucking people. sweater gray pants dude like, here i am in father edward's bedroom <laughs> i trying to get my goddamn dictionary back <laughs> he was giving you a dick Shun. a lot oh <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm gay. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Both oh, you are too? too? No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm not. I thought, no, I'm not. I thought we had numbers. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Well, statistically, no. a lot of people from... <laughs> from I well, guess I could imagine. Uh, there, there was a few people that I knew that I... Like, uh, what? Uh, Picket. I was, about I, to, fucking, I was about to say Picket. Yeah, dude. I love Picket. Dude does drag. That's really uh, that does not surprise me one bit. That's so cool. And he's good at it. <laughs> oh, I believe it. Oh, I fucking be- that man can do whatever the fuck he wants. I love that. Like, yes. Love that journey. Uh, wow. Wh- oh, sorry. Okay. Wow. I better get going, y'all. I, I gotta take a massive piss here. So I've been drinking beer this whole time. So okay. I took a piss and y'all don't even know it. No excuses. <laughs> Are you in a carport? I am in my backyard. <laughs> I've been wondering this whole time. <laughs> I've been like, okay, he makes steel. Maybe he built his own like fucking Dude, cardboard. Uh, so, okay, where I was living in in St. Louis, nice, real nice. I was paying rent. I had a roommate, but I was living in a condo. <clears throat> and now I'm out here in fucking Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. <laughs> fucking i live across the, i live five minutes down the road from work that comes with a price yeah um, i did that because the company that i work for didn't give me any fucking time to look for a place 
Uh, <sighs> annoying. So yeah. that that's his whole thing. I just say, fuck you, pay me. Yeah. And um, I'm all right. You know, I'm just that's trying good. to get up to the 26, 27 an hour game and I'll do whatever the fuck you need me to do. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool, dude. <laughs> I'm glad but, you're doing uh, my, well, man. My, 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 what's that? Oh, I'm glad yeah, you're no, doing it's, well. It's yeah. good, man. It's just like, honestly, I like this whole conversation so perfect because, man, as of recent, I mean, I did this move a year ago and just turning thirty, and I'm like, like, okay, what what do we do? Like, where is this life actually going? Where? Let's let's actually put a legitimate five year plan down and uh, accumulate some fucking revenue to, you know, sit and chill and not have to Make do much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Time. So I'm I'm been like I'm not doing a fucking warehouse my whole life. I'd rather work outside in the rain. Like all that dust and shit, it's so bad. Yeah. Like seriously it's just it's a get by job and it was to me at the time i just gotten out of uh was going through a lull be real um and got out of it just tried to totally 180 everything and was like my most successful friend is welding so this guy goes to fucking san antonio texas and has a wife and kids and pays on a fucking three hundred dollar house i'm like good lord like where where is this money so (laughs) um, on the money trail i just did it because i was only making 15 bucks an hour managing an entire restaurant i was running it but they wouldn't pay me so i quit that went to school worked the 80 hours a week school and work did all that torture to myself just to get into the job that I have now, which is proving itself. It's just like not going anywhere. And like, I'm not doing anything for me for any of this. It's just not worth it. So what do I got to do? That's going to do it well for me. And that specifically would be to finish my degree and God, God knows from there, man. I mean, I don't know um, anything. Yeah, I could do this, but I could also die at the age of fifty-five, and well, yeah. fuck, I can yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, weld welding is cool, and you can make some really good money doing it. Trust me, uh, it's cool it's something shit. once you learn, you never fucking want to get rid of because it is it becomes it's a passion. Like, I do fucking love that shit. Like, and I'm fucking good at it. So awesome dude it's just all about how much time you spend under the hood you're breathing all of those gases right right hey, if I, evan if i could afford you i'd hire you as my full-time welder no well, that's so sweet of you <laughs> yeah I, I, I would love to have a new welder under my start if i could have you as my own altar boy I, i'd take you <laughs> hey, you know he never forgets he never forgets the little towels so oh no never did yeah, and and he always always stole father's red wine, and put it in there for us. Nice, always. <laughs> All right, y'all, I better bounce. So, hey, right. Spence. Bye, Spence. Real fan. Hey, buddy. <laughs>